In this video, we are going to learn how to solve number bases with Casio calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to convert from one base to another with Casio FS 991 ES Plus calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. So, stay with me till the end of this video. Okay. Let's begin. Let's look at the examples I have here and solve them together. Example 1 here says convert 692 in dinner weight to octal. Thus convert this value in base 10 to base 8. So let's bring the calculator we calculator we use to solve the problem together. It's very very simple with the calculator. calculator. Okay, to begin with we are going to put the calculator in base mode and to do that you simply press the mode button so category 4 represents base so you press button 4 so it's now in base mode so let's impute the value we have 692 so press your quarter so right now this is the value in base 10 to so convert it to base 8 which is octa you press this button this lame button when you look at it closely on your calculator you see both ct on top of it so it stands for octa so you press the button once you do it these values will reflect to show that this value 692 has been converted to base 8 very very simple so let's wipe them out now let's solve example 2 it says convert this value in base 2 to base 10 so the first thing we are going to do will be to put this in base 2 as you can see is in base 8 octal so to put it in base 2 press this log button when you look at it closely on your calculator you see b i n on top of it, so it stands for binary, so you press it, so it's now in binary base 2, so let's repeat the values, we have 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, so let's press your quote 2, ok, this is the value in base 2, to now convert it to base 10, then press this S square button, when you look at it closely in your calculator, you see, D is on top of it, so it stands for denary. So you press the button, so it's now converted to base 10. So this is the conversion of this value to base 10. 46 is the value in base 10. Very, very simple. So let's wipe them out and solve the next example. So example 2 it says convert this value to base 8. So let's First, we put our calculator in base 2. We press this S square button. Okay, we press log button rather. So it's now in binary. So let's now impute the values 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. 1 1 0. So this is the value in base 2. Press your code 2. To convert it to base 8, you press this lane button. So this is the value in base 8. Very, very simple. Let's now solve example 4. Let's wipe out these values. So it's in base 10. You first of all put the calculator in base 10. So you press this. S square button so it's now in base 10 so let's put 45 base 10 so convert it to base 2 we press the log button so this is the conversion in base 2 very very simple let's solve example 5 let's wipe out these values so is in base 8 first of all put the calculator in base 8 and put this name button so we have 
one four six five press equal to so to convert it to base 10 you press this sp button so it's now in base 10 821 so very very simple so let's solve the last example and after you will call it a class wipe out these values so we have convert this to base 2 so let's put it in base 8 first with the name button so we have 35 base 8 to base 2 so to convert it to base 2 we press the log button so this is the value in base 2 very very simple so once you are done you clear the calculator to remove it from base mode and to do that you press shift button 9 and follow the instruction you want to clear or you press 3 then press equal to equal to again so we have cleared the calculator now so this is basically how you can solve these numbers with the Casio calculator especially from converting to base 2 to base 10 and to base 8 very very simple so i will count the end of this class if you are new to your channel make sure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask regarding what i have thought in this class feel free to leave a question at the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response thanks for watching this video